Nino Brown boxing in the back of the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So man, I just I just got finished watching the big homie 78 Sports TV video. His response to um, the whole Omar Figueroa thing with him getting a DUI and pretty much his comments on that situation along with Adrian Bronner's stupid decisions and stupid situation that he has, you know some type of uh, misdemeanor, sexual misdemeanor he had in some mall in Atlanta. And, man, I'm a, I was over here dying laughing at 70s video. I mean, he's absolutely right. The fact that some people out here are trying to use Omar Figueroa's situation to justify Adrian Broner is completely ridiculous. I mean, I look at it like, you know, they're both two adult males. And, you know, what the other guy's doing has nothing to do with the next man. You know, the fact that people actually think this way is crazy to me. I mean, it shows what's wrong with society as a whole. You know, you point your fingers and try to say, oh, let's, let me justify my stupidity or the guy that I'm rooting for actions by pointing out the flaws of someone else. To me, it makes absolutely no sense. I don't know if they're just doing this to try to even a playing field, if this is some type of publicity. It just seems like I'm noticing a pattern that Adrian Broner has some type of drama surrounding him before every single fight that he gets into I mean in recent memory I mean I could be wrong and maybe a couple of fights maybe one or two fights nothing happened but from what I can remember it's always something you know prior to him getting into a fight and man I don't know man I just to me man Adrian Brown we're the same age and the way he conducts himself it's like some of the guys that I went to high school with, that's how they, you know, that's how they behave when they were 16, 17. So, you know, he gets no pass for me. Omar Figueroa gets no pass for me. Adrian Bronner's behavior doesn't justify what Omar Figueroa is doing and vice versa. Uh, if these guys are simply doing this to market their self and if this, will, if this will works for them, you know, by all means, it's stupid for me. It's stupid in my opinion. But if it works for them, I right, do what you do. But if something like this comes back and bites you in the ass later on, don't expect any pity and don't expect any sympathy from Nino Brown boxing because I'm all for, you know, a grown man should be able to control himself. And honestly, by the law standards, what Omar Figueroa has done, you know, what he did is a more serious charge, you know, a DUI, you can, you can get locked up for that. I don't know like, all the details around it. I don't even know the report on this type of drama surrounding the sport of boxing, but I just thought the 78th video was hilarious to me. But if I'm going to compare the two, honestly, I feel like Adrian Broner, he, you know, he was, uh, his particular incident is just, it's stupidity for me. Now, that's, I don't want anyone to take this as I'm trying to justify what Omar Figueroa is doing, but plenty of intelligent and mature people have made a dumb decision while they were intoxicated. I know intoxication is not an excuse, but we do know it can off it can um alter your state of mind in the current situation and you can do things out of the norm. Whatever. From what I know, Adrian Bronner was completely sober in the mall when he started touching on a young lady. And it's just stupid, man. Like I don't care how big you think you can get you have old, extremely wealthy white men going down for sexual assault, you know, losing TV deals, going to prison, and you think it's a good idea, you being a young black guy, with not even a quarter of the wealth that they possess, nowhere near the amount of power and pull that they have, and then with the checker pass that you already have, and you go out and do something as stupid as this, to me, it makes no sense. Um, I hopefully, you know, they get things together. They get back on track. They both, they both make weight for the fight. And they put on a good show. Hopefully the fight isn't called off. I mean, I want to see the fight. You know, I want the best man to win. Simple as that. I'm not rooting for any particular person. I just want to be entertained by this fight. And hopefully they go on and improve. Is it likely for Adrian Brown to improve? Honestly, man, I, I have no confidence in him. I lost 
I was one of those guys that was trying to stick by Adrian Broner's side, but after the Mikey Garcia fight, after that performance, after the, all the BS leading up to it, I just, you know, I had to wash my hands for Adrian Broner from this point on. But that's just my take on it, y'all. Man, this Nino Brown boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.